Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn calculus from the master. Refath Bari, a.k.a. 800 over 800 guy, is teaching calculus this year. Watch his videos to achieve your dream. Okay, so question one is about set theory. So question one asks us to prove the following statement. If A is a subset of B and A is a subset of C, then A must also be a subset of the intersection of sets B and C. So how can we go along proving this statement? Well, let's take a look at it qualitatively. We know that A is a subset of B and A is a subset of C. So all the elements in A must be in B and all the elements in A must also be in C. So when you take the intersection of these two sets, all the elements of A will be in the intersection of sets B and C. But how can we show that mathematically? Well, let's say you have an element X that is an element in set A. Well, we know that this element X must also be an element of set B because A is a subset of B. And by the same reasoning, we know that X is also an element of C. So that means X must therefore be an element of the intersection of sets B and C. And we can apply this reasoning to any element in set A. And thus we have proved this statement correct. Now let's go on to proving the second part of this problem. The second part of the problem asks us to prove the following statement. If A is a proper subset of B and A is a proper subset of C, then A is not necessarily a proper subset of the intersection of sets B and C. So if you want to prove that a statement is wrong, in mathematics all you need is a good counterexample. So let me show you a counterexample that shows that this statement is true. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's say we have sets A, B, and C. So uh, for A you can have the elements 1 and 2. For B you can have uh, 1, 2, 4, 5. And for C you can have uh, uh, 9, 7, one. Okay, so let's uh, let's show that this conjecture is true. So, is A a proper subset of B? Well, let's take a look. Um, is A a subset of B? Yes, because all the elements in A are elements of B. Is A uh, is the cardinality of A smaller than the cardinality of B? Also, yes, because A has a cardinality of two, whereas B has a cardinality of four. Thus, A is a proper subset of B. And you can use the same reasoning to show that A is a proper subset of C because all the elements of A are in set C and the cardinality of A is less than the cardinality of C. And now we have to prove the uh, last statement that A is not necessarily a proper subset of the intersection of sets B and C. So how can we show that? Well, the intersection of sets B and C is going to involve, is going to include all the elements in both sets. So if you take their intersection, it's simply going to be 1, 2. Oh. 1, 2. So what is the cardinality of this? Well, let's take a look. The cardinality of the intersection of the set is going to be 2 because there's only two elements. And the cardinality of set A is also 2. That means because their cardinalities are equal, they are not proper subsets of each other. Thus, we have proved the last statement that A is not necessarily a proper subset of B, uh, of the intersection of B and C. All right, folks, so we've uh, completed our first uh, problem in calculus. So uh, join us for the rest of the series at barryscience.com.